Hi, my name's James and I'm a vacuum technician here at Darsbury Laboratories. And for this Work Experience Week, we're going to give you the opportunity to have a look at some of the work that technicians do, as well as a quick insight into some of the R&D projects that happen on site. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what goes on. So this is the setup, preparing for the experiment, so recording data within the chamber. This chamber already has a sample ready for deposition, but we still need to do the following. Turn the pumping system off. Vent the chamber with nitrogen, so put pressure back into the system so we can open it. Make sure we use clean items and components, so using gloves. We are now measuring the target sample, and this involves measuring data points, keeping the sample contamination free, so changing gloves after every task, and any initial observations might be made by the technician. This could be the sample or the chamber. We are now closing the system and pumping this down, and this involves replacing the vacuum seals. These are called gaskets pumping down the chamber and turning on the chiller system ready for deposition. Checking the seals for leaks and we will use helium for this. Observing any changes to our chamber as something might have changed. Our technicians across all parts of STFC need to have a wide range of skill sets. These include practical thinking, attention to detail, great communication skills, not all of our staff are highly qualified, myself, I only have GCSEs, but most of us have a real interest in STEM subjects. And now on to the experiment, the fun part. We are now performing the deposition onto our target sample. This method is a new research study and technique and could shape the future for building accelerators. This involves creating a constant plasma using electric and magnetic fields. The electric field is used to heat the argon gas to high temperatures, which then knocks out free electrons from the atoms of the argon gas, causing ionisation of the gas. These then collide with the niobium, which then releases niobium atoms and ions, which then coats our target sample with a thin film of niobium. The target sample is on the outer side of the inner chamber, and our niobium is the rod in the centre. We increase and decrease the argon flow until a constant plasma is produced. We will leave this running for a couple of hours whilst a thin film is formed. And for those with a keen eye, our plasma started as a pink purple haze due to the argon gas. But we have ended up with a blue coloured plasma, which we think has something to do with niobium, but we still need to investigate this. So there we go, a very small insight into what happens on site and also a look into the future for accelerators. I hope you've enjoyed this and we hope to see you on campus soon.